Hey everybody, Sander here. Uh, happy 2021. I don't think I've made a video since last year. I don't, I don't even think I made a video after Christmas, so I hope you had a happy holidays, which was, like, what, a month ago? I mean, I'm way behind. Um, I am getting movie making software for my birthday, which is not far off. It's the 4th of February. It'll be the big 27. And, um, so once I get that, hopefully I can start making more videos and videos that are far more interesting than me just talking to my webcam. So hopefully those will be coming soon. Until then, uh, I thought I'd do a check-in video about a very large frustration in my life in the last little bit, which is dating. I tried dating for a couple of months last year and towards the end of the year. Bad idea. <laughs> Bad idea. I mean, for one thing, it's COVID, and dating during COVID to me is probably not a good idea. Also, my life is a complete mess right now. Like, it is a disaster of a life at the moment. So, really, dating is probably not a good idea anyway. So, I'm still on dating accounts. I haven't deleted the accounts or anything, but I'm not active on them really anymore. But, you know, send one to come along and talk to me. They, they could. But, uh, one of the big problems I've, I've had is in regard to my gender. The last time I dated was 2017. So it's been like almost four years now since I dated. Um, I needed a break. The last relationship I was in and did pretty badly. And quite frankly, I just got turned off of the whole thing. Women frustrated me. So I'd, I'd finally reached a point last year that I was feeling lonely and like, I might as well give this another go. But in 2017, the girl I was seeing, she was pansexual. So when she found out that I was gender fluid, literally didn't matter. She was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Didn't care. It was all good. And she was very supportive of my gender. One of the few things she was supportive of. And um, so that was good. That was great. I'm not finding that support. No, 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 no. There was a particular incident I was actually in one of the lesbian chat rooms online. Yes, occasionally I do hit up the chat rooms, I'll admit. And um, it turned out she was going to be moving like 15 minutes down the road from me. So sometime later this year, she's coming down to Maryland. And so like we started talking about, oh, this is unbelievable because, you know, usually you find someone LGBTQ and it's, they're like three continents away. I mean, and like finding anybody within a reasonable distance is like nearly impossible when you're LGBT and especially me, I have a bad back. I can only drive at the most, maybe an hour one way. So I'm really limited in the area. So this chick, it was like, Oh my gosh, she's actually, I could meet this person and drive and everything. So we started talking and we got to that point, you know, Hey, why don't, can I see you? Why don't you send a pic? Blah, 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 blah. So I was like, all right, fine. I'm not, I'm not one. I don't like exchanging pictures online for the most part. So I just sent one, you know, from like here up. She freaked out. She accused me of being a guy, like a biological male preying on lesbians. She accused me of just being straight up trans. And I kept telling her I am a biological female. I am gender fluid, which of course she didn't, I mean, she didn't know what that was. I didn't know what that was. I had to Google it, you know, when I was finding my gender. So I can understand why someone wouldn't know it, but she freaked out on me, completely freaked out, totally changed the mood. I mean, she was just accusing me of lying and I kept telling her I'm a biological female. I'm a biological female. I am, but I also have other genders and, you know, sometimes do not drag, but present as a male, I always say, is Sander and everything else. So then she was demanding a picture of my figure so that I could prove that I'm really a biological female. Hell no, I'm not sending no pictures of my figure and all that to some stranger. Like, no, not, not going to happen. So that went south really quickly. And I found that I've had that problem on my accounts as well, where these women, I guess maybe it's that they don't know what gender fluid means or if it makes them uncomfortable, but there are, especially 
women out there that are just against butches and masculine women in general, not necessarily gender, but a lot of people are like, if you're butch, don't even contact me. And I identify, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm masculine, I'm butch, I'm also a guy, I'm, I'm just vibing, man. You know, my gender just does that. It's, it is what it is. It's everything. It's nothing. It's guy, it's girl, it's just me. And I, I just trying to explain that to people is really difficult, especially when you're trying to explain it in like conjunction with sexuality sexuality gender two separate things a lot of people for whatever reason don't get that they're two separate things i mean you can be trans a trans woman and be a lesbian you're still a woman like you know stuff like that they don't they don't it doesn't register to them so that's kind of i guess maybe what's been happening with some of these girls that it just doesn't quite register but i mean that's mainly how I figured out that I'm gender fluid and not trans because my gender in regard to sexual orientation is I am a woman with a woman. I'm a girlfriend, she, her, Shelly. It's a lesbian relationship. When I'm in a relationship, I'm in a lesbian relationship. That doesn't change my gender though. I'm still gender fluid. I still got Sander and he, him and all that at the same time. It's still all of me. It's just, I'm wired as a lesbian and I don't really know why and sometimes i'll just do a general blanket statement of saying i'm interested in women because that covers all genders just to say that but i just i i'm a lesbian it's what i do literally i i write lesbian fiction you know as a, a gig and it's me and so i was looking so hard for that relationship for a, a girl i could you know start seeing and um not happening. Um, it's very frustrating because I want to find a woman who loves me for all of me. And all of me includes my life as Sander Mason, as he, him, as presenting as a male, as my masculinity and all that. That's me too. And it needs to be acknowledged and accepted. Um, like my ex did, you know, wasn't a problem for her. And just, just finding that with someone else and I just couldn't find it. So I've essentially, you know, given up at this point on dating um, for right now. And like I said, it's probably a good thing that I'm doing that because I'm, I really shouldn't be dating right now anyway. So, but I just, you know, I had that thing last year feeling like something was missing in my life and that romantic connection was missing. I don't even know how many girls I messaged and tried to talk to. I did have a Skype date last year. I did. But uh, unfortunately, we are so oh, not compatible because I have this strange belief that if you're in a relationship with somebody, you should actually talk to them occasionally. This chick would disappear for like days at a time. Just totally disappear, not answer any messages, barely answer anything. And I'm like, you know, if you want a relationship with somebody, you kind of got to communicate. That's the number one thing in relationships I've heard is communication. It is like the number one thing. So if you're never going to talk to me, it's it's not, it's not going to work. It's just not. I'm somebody I like to talk and check in once in a while, you know. But people today just don't, like, I just never got messages back from some people. And it's, it's a total mess. So... Anyway, that's it for me and, and dating for right now. Probably check in at some other point once I get my life back together. I mean, you know, with COVID and everything, I've been without a job for quite a while. And um, now I'm going to try to get back into the workforce and everything else. And it's just, but hopefully we'll get there. So when I get my movie making software, then I will start making some more videos. I am in desperate need of a new binder. I'd love to get a new one and do a new video on it. Um, my breast screw. It's really too much information, but yeah, I went up a cup size for like no apparent reason. So the person who desperately wants top surgery and hates having breasts now has a double D. 
life sucks. <laughs> Life sucks sometimes. But anyway, um, I hope you guys had good holidays. You can have a good year. Hopefully this year will not suck nearly as bad as 2020. And um, so we'll see what comes next. I'll catch you later.